great science class is uh, when all the children have smiles on their faces, they're hands-on, they're talking about what they're doing. I've always had an interest in science and I've been curious about the world around me. When I first came to Westminster Primary School, I noticed that there wasn't a lot happening in the area of science at the school. My principal at the time knew this and said that there's a new initiative from the Department of Education in Western Australia called the Primary Science Project and asked if I'd like to, to be one of the first people involved in this project. Science Club came about because we have quite a packed curriculum and I just wanted to build on the enthusiasm and excitement around science at the school. So I thought we'll open up Science Club at lunchtime and have the children come in and join in fun science activities. Tea bag rockets, they're looking at balloon hovercrafts, sliding across the table. There's a mix of students uh, with a high influx of African migrants. Children with English as a second language can find reading and writing intimidating in the classroom. We always have the puppets out during science class. They're used to stimulate discussion and allow the children to, to ask the puppets questions that they might not necessarily ask the teacher and the puppets are able to respond to the children in a non-threatening environment. The children are involved in recycle ranges where the children are encouraged to recycle paper and batteries and aluminium cans. They're also growing their own vegetables. Use the water from our rainwater tank to water these plants. One of the ways we've been able to reach out to schools is through uh, the Investigating in Science DVD that the students made and produced. It's now used in well over 200 schools and the teachers have loved this resource because it provides an avenue for teaching children how to do an investigation. The teachers are more confident in teaching science. The children's results are improving. Science is now seen as a priority area. In 2008, our school um, won the Western Australian Award for Science School of the Year. And with a science budget of $1,500, to suddenly have prize winnings of $17,500 was fantastic. In the future, I'd like to be doing exactly what I'm doing now. I'd like to stay in the classroom, teaching, promoting science within my classroom, within the school and within the wider community. And I'd hope that I continue to motivate and inspire the discoverers of tomorrow.